All right, guys, let's get into it. Today, I'm going to teach you how to use the Wagner Pro paint sprayer. You'll just slide this little green key right here into this black hole right here, like this. Slide it in, perfect. Um, this green thing just shows you two different settings that you can use on the sprayer, um, like a smaller sprayer or if you turn it, it gives you a wider spray as you can see it changing down there. Uh, today we're going to use the smaller sprayer. So then on your little handgun right here is where you screw it off. And here we go. This is hard to do in front of the camera. Okay, cool. There you go. That's what I just showed you. Then take your hose and attach it to the bottom right here. I suggest holding the hose steady and rotating the handgun. Otherwise, it's really hard. I think there's like some tools that come with this thing that you can use um, to make it easier. I never use tools or follow instructions, so I always make it harder for myself, but you know what? It works, we're ready to go. Full disclaimer, I have heard mixed reviews about this sprayer, but for someone working on a budget and not for professional use, this is definitely doing the trick. I also know there's probably a better way to spray these cabinet doors. I believe they make holders for them, but sometimes you gotta work with what you have. And I was stepping all over these. One tip I can tell you is when you start to paint, make sure you use the sprayer off the surface for starting and ending. This will prevent paint drips and streaks. Also, make sure to properly clean your cabinet doors with a degreaser first. Once again, I probably could have used a sawhorse to lay these on or nail them together with a two by four. Mine blew over like three times in the wind. As always, check back next week because this kitchen is going to be a job.